All right, second example, we're gonna identify a transformation. So each of the given graphs is a transformation of the parent cubic function or the parent quartic function. How can you determine the equation of the graph? So just a reminder, the parent cubic function looks like y equals x to the third power, and the parent quartic function looks like y equals x to the fourth power. All right, so let's take a look at this graph on the left. We are going to start by observing the n behavior. So what I notice is our n behavior is going in opposite directions. We're going down on the right and up on the left. N behaviors that have, um, when the n behavior is opposite, Remember, that means the degree is odd. So of the two functions we're working with, which one of these has an odd degree? That's going to be your x to the third power. So our parent function is y equals x to the third power. All right, next, let's keep looking at that n behavior. Um, when you have n behavior, that tells us as x approaches positive infinity. So remember, this is just means the right side of your graph. So on the right side of the graph, see how our function is going down. That means that the y's are approaching a negative infinity. So on the right side, when the y's approach a negative infinity, that's because the leading coefficient is negative. So we're just going to keep kind of building on our parent function. If the leading coefficient is negative, that means that y equals, I'm going to make a negative leading coefficient, x to the third power. Okay, so what else have we noticed? Your parent function does go through the origin. So this point right here, that's the point that is normally over here at the origin. So we had some translations. We have shifted. Um, what we notice is that the graph has moved the point 0, 0 to the point negative 3, negative 1. So point 0, 0 has shifted to negative 3, negative 1. So we can see that. Our parent function would go through the origin, kind of the center of it. Here's the new center, so it went to the left, one, two, three, and it went down one. So when we recognize the translations, we can build that into our parent function. Oops, we have y equals negative, and I'm gonna do, let's see, if we shifted to this point, negative three, negative one, I think I already said it, that means we went to the left three and down one. So to move to the left three with a tricky x, we would say x plus three, and then this is a cubic function, so raised to the third power. And if we shift it down one, that's going to be a minus one. So our final um, equation of the graph is going to be f of x equals, we have the negative x plus three cubed minus one. All right, let's take a look at our next example. We have, I kind of would assume this to be a quartic function, but we're just going to go through the same process. Let's take a look at the end behavior first. This will help us get the degree of our function. So the end behavior is the same. What we mean by that is it's going down on the right and it's going down on the left. When it is the same, that means that your degree is even. So of the two functions we're asked to work with, y equals x to the fourth is the one that has an even degree. So that's the parent function we're going to work with. Um, let's keep looking at the n behavior because we can get a leading coefficient out of this. The n behavior on the right side, as x approaches positive infinity, so again that's on the right side of your graph, our our function is going down. That means that the y values are approaching a negative infinity. And what kind of leading coefficient makes the y values, oops, go down on the right side? 
that is a negative leading coefficient. So leading coefficient is negative. So let's put in a negative leading coefficient. Y equals negative X to the fourth. All right, so let's find the center of our transformed graph. This center right here was here at the origin. So we're gonna focus on this point and understand that it started right there and then we transformed it. So to get from the origin to its new location, we went to the right one. We may have to make sure we pay attention to how the axes are labeled. We went to the right one and up five. So let's write that down. I'm gonna erase some of this last one just because I wrote a little too far. Just get rid of that. Okay. So we had a point zero, zero on the parent, parent function that shifted to one, five. What that means is it went to the right one and up five. So let's put that transformation into our function. Y equals, we have our negative and then X. If you're shifting to the right one with tricky X, we would say X minus one. This has a degree of four, so raised to the fourth power. And then if you're shifting up five, you're gonna have a plus five on the end. And then that takes care of our function. So let's just write our final answer. We have f of x equals negative x minus one to the fourth power plus five. So essentially what we did in this um, video is we added in n behaviors and then talked about the transformations that we knew from previous lessons and were able to write equations of different functions, x to the third, x to the fourth, but hopefully that all seems pretty familiar.